So, hey guys, I am Harshita, and I welcome you all to day three of WTF Twenty, world's biggest three-day digital conference for artists. It's Hello, an initiative. <laughs> Hi, it's an initiative of Print Shop by Design Hill, world's leading creative print-on-demand marketplace, in association with Illustration Artists Club, Graphic Designers Club, Pattern Designers Club, Logo Designers Club, Print Shop Global, and our online learning partner, Milan Inst Art Institute, Georgia, USA. So now, moving ahead, let me introduce you to our jury of the day, Shaza Vajo. Hi, Shaza. Hello, everyone. Hi. So Shaza is a visual artist from Russia. After completion of her graduation, she was very eager to pursue her dream of being an artist. So she deepened up uh, her artistic knowledge through online studies, researches, references, and also learning from uh, learning different methods from other artists also. And her designs are heavily inspired by innate fem emotion. She believes in introduction, introducing depth in her artwork that cry emotions wow so shaza thank you so much for jo joining us on um, wtf and taking your time out for us thank you for having me thank you so mm -hmm. how it all started well uh, well it started when i was a little girl actually i loved uh, drawing very much uh since i um since the beginning, uh, I uh, used to draw when I was uh, when I had time, and then when I graduated and came to Russia, I had uh, actually more time. Uh, uh, and the time when I was learning Russian, uh, I started uh, to take uh, some free time to like draw and stuff. And then, uh, and then I. Um, uh, I started uh, traditional work, but then I went to illustration. Uh, well, that's that's it. That's great. That's great. So before we start, look at what Print Shop by Design Hill and WTF is all about. taking few questions from our registrants. These are just basic ones, just to our attendees to set their goals in a specific direction and work smartly. So shall I go ahead with a few questions? OK. OK. So a question by your fan. Uh, he is in love with your calmness. He finds in your, uh, uh, your art, your art pieces. So what is the daily inspiration you get from? Where is that inspiration you get? Uh, well, uh, my biggest inspiration is uh, quotes and poets. 
and that's it actually uh i get inspired uh, from movies too but my biggest inspiration is quotes uh i have actually my favorite poet, poet uh, his name is ron willis I read him every single day. He writes about women, about suffering, about about love, about everything. He's just my go-to guy. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, uh, how do you find your painting style? How did you find it? Well, I didn't find it uh, actually. Uh, it builds with time. Uh, I started with the traditional, I said, and then I went to more like uh, white and black and white. Uh, and then I tried coloring, and it's uh, uh, it's a process. It's not like I just found it, and uh, I'm not finished yet. Actually, I'm just learning more about myself every day. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So you have reached to that level now. See, I can ask you this question: that what mistakes to avoid when starting in a new field? If a person wants to start in a new field, what are the mistakes they usually make? Okay, uh, let me say uh, it's uh, like like this conversation we're having. It's the first time I'm doing uh, uh, any interview with anyone. I'm just a little nervous, and uh, I, all the time I refused. I just said no, no. Every, every time somebody asked me, I just said no. I don't want. Um, I'm gonna be nervous. But this time I said, okay, I'm gonna just try. It. Uh, yeah, this is there's always a first time, so yes. you have to start it. No, that's that's what I'm going to say. You have to don't be afraid. You just you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes at first, but you're just gonna have to keep trying, and you, you're just gonna have to believe in yourself. So I got lucky. I got the chance to introduce you first and get get you interviewed. Yes, <laughs> yes, actually, <laughs> great. Um, so, huh? Mistake was. You are not able. You were not able to um, face your fear. Yes, I was afraid. Uh, I was. Uh, I'm always afraid to make uh, some, like, uh, new new things. Uh, it was uh, it was something I was afraid to do. But now, uh, I know it's the best thing to do. You just have to just experience everything you can do, uh, mm -hmm. and you have to keep learning. Uh, I have a full time job, but. I, I try my best uh, to keep learning uh, illustration and everything about it. I keep going th through tutorials and stuff. I don't make uh, uh, any excuses, you know. I don't make my stop, you know, my my uh, work stopping me from uh, anything. You just have great. to believe in yourself. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So, how do you start with a new drawing project? What does your process look like? <laughs> There's no process. I just sometimes I come up with an idea from scratch, and I I start like from an idea. But sometimes I don't have an idea. I just start like drawing, and the idea comes like maybe later. Uh, and sometimes you know, uh, I do the illustration, but I don't like it, so I just keep it like year and then um, oh my god there's something if i do this it's gonna be a great idea to this illustration so it, it, there's no specific process for any uh, work every work has its special uh, story like that so we have got a question from neha bansal and it was what's your inspiration behind your artwork as they are mostly about women uh i um Actually, it's not just about women. I like uh, it's about actually. People. This was my question also, and my question was: What's the story behind the girl character you always draw? It's not always about the girl. It's uh, some some people just ask me, "Can you do it a boy or something?" It's not like it's a boy or a girl. It's just that I love to draw girl figure because I love it. That's all. Oh. Uh, it sometimes presents me actually sometimes, but not all the times. Uh, but um, all in all, it's not about just the girl. Okay. Great, great. So, what's your inspiration in that? Your quotes you read or the poetry you read? Can you repeat? The inspiration behind these uh, artworks are your quotes and your poetry. Yes, it's it's most likely uh, quotes. 
and not codes, it's like um, poetry. Uh, I said about uh, Ron Willie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's another one on Twitter. I like his. Uh, I can send it later. Yeah, of course uh, you can. Added his, uh, his uh, Facebook page because he he's not on YouTube. Uh, yeah. He. I added it to the chat. Um, he's my favorite, and uh, of course, I'll and and like I said, surely look into it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so moving ahead, let's take a moment to recognize the talented people of Summer 2020 Design Challenge Category 3. Yes, it's a day three, guys, and we are super excited to introduce you to our last set of winners of Drawing, Painting, and Visual Art Challenges. All the participants of this challenge have created super, super amazing artworks. And we can't, we literally can't wait to share the news with you all. I'm super happy to announce that we have received crazy amount number of entries there. And so without further ado, we'll be introducing you to our rock stars, our governors of challenge three, that is drawing, painting and uh, visual artist challenge. So our main winner will be awarded with cash prize of $200. Yeah, $200. And our top two runner up will be awarded with print of gift card worth $50 each. So Shaza, all over to you. Just reveal the name of the winners and runner up. Okay, it's and Adria Cavier. Right, yes. am I? Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I'll just be sharing his design with you all. Just a second. Yeah, here it is. This is it. It's Andrea Karaskal. Congratulations, uh, man. You won $200. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's actually a very beautiful, so simple. Uh... With the summary tint in it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, great, great. So moving ahead to our runner up, our first runner up is. I didn't get the name. <laughs> okay. Let me he didn't out. send me the name. He just sent me the person. <laughs> uh, it's Victoria Deneva and here's its design. Is this a design? Yes, it is. Yeah. Cool. So uh, what you were thinking about uh, when you were choosing this design as a runner up? Well, uh, I love simplicity. This is uh, this is my thing. Uh, simplicity and colors. Uh, and uh, if you noticed, uh, like I love the scratchy, like the scratch feeling of it. It's like um, it's like uh, uh, drawn with pencil or something. Yeah. So I like th this one, and uh, but uh, the first one is sim the simplicity is what caught my eye. That's yeah, it. it's sort this of one, like incomplete but complete. E exactly. Yes. Yeah. I love this uh, this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. So, congratulations, Victoria. You have won a print shop gift card worth fifty dollar. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Coming to our second runner up. So here's the design, and let me help you out with the name again. It's Yana. Yana. So congratulations, Yana. You have also won a print shop gift card worth $50. So what about this design, Shaza? Uh, it's also simple and uh, it's colorful. The lines are beautiful, um, and I love oranges so much. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I just yes. like the strokes of sketch pen or something. It's what? just so mixed. The strokes on the uh, on these yeah. oranges. Yes, yes. It's a combination between like. Uh, semi real and scratchy from behind so it's yeah. really beautiful the colors the the yellow the um, the beige all they're all coming together it's so beautiful yeah it is it is so congratulations guys congratulations everyone 
seriously to our last set of winners congratulations celebrations all in order wow so chaza let's take few more questions we have got a lot more in our questions tab also okay if you want <laughs> what okay. kind of client what kind of client do you work with i mean client. commercial work clients yeah uh i don't do actually commissions i just sell the the ones i already do that that i already drawn uh like if somebody asked me to to draw somebody it's i did it at first but then um, it just it's not me like uh, it's not inspiring for me so i just said i'm going to just uh, stick with the ones i do if you if you want to buy them you can find them on society 6 i sell them i sell their prints and uh, and like merchandise from uh, the prints from the okay mm -hmm. great 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 so how has instagram helped you grow as an artist uh it's um uh, it's actually my only go to i don't do facebook i don't do twitter uh it helped me i don't know if it helped but it 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 surely helped uh, it helped uh, from uh, uh the the, uh, the thing that helped me the most are uh, the big uh, um how to say it? the big accounts that took my work and shared it this is this is why uh, the moment that I succeeded is from this thing. Uh, so like how you, big account contacted you through? Um, there is something, no? It's like you use some uh, unique hashtags or something. Or it's, no, no, it's not like that. I, I, I don't know how they find me and they sh they just do it. It's like if, if your work is good and... Uh, um, and the ha my hashtags are just like drawing illustration that's it but if you um, uh, if you want to you can you can tag some uh, big uh, big accounts uh, and they may uh, they may start uh, noticing your beautiful work and they start sharing it that's it if you have beautiful work actually uh, it's uh, it all you don't need anyone you can grow by yourself that's that's all i can say about it Great, great. So, do you have any about your uh, um, uh, any idea about perfect mix of media? What is perfect mix of media? Uh, mm. Actually, uh, uh, mixed media. You mean my favorite or uh, all in all? You you mean my favorite all in mixed all, media? All in all. It's for i think traditional is the is my favorite for let's say but uh, i tried traditional i i did uh, a lot of illustration and sketches but uh, it's uh, the illustration uh, in in digital form is uh, not uh, i can say that it's easier it's easier because you can't make mistakes that, that's for sure but it's uh, it's more you can do it anytime everywhere uh, that's the the perfect side of it that's why I love uh, digital media because uh, digital work because um, you can do it anywhere basically and you can go wild with it that's that's the problem with uh, make with traditional uh, you need place you need space you need tools you need stuff and not Oh, everybody has this thing. So for um, for the old people, it's easier to to use illustration and digital, and like that's it. Great, <laughs> great. So we have got a question again. Which medium do you use for your illustration? It's Illustrator or Procreate or any other? Uh, I use Photoshop all the time. And uh, I use my Wacom digitizer. Uh, that's it. <laughs> nice, it's, nice. It's, uh, it, it, I, first, I didn't use the Wacom. I just uh, do it with the WAMS. 
but since I bought the digitizer, it like skyrocketed the the, uh, the whole thing. Just uh, it took me to a new next level. It's more smoother, more beautiful. So I I recommend it for if you wanna start your illustration game. Great, great. So my last question for you from my side is for my attendees that you have learned everything online, right? So what are the resources or courses you need to share, you want to share with our attendees so that they can also learn from that thing? Okay, it's YouTube. <laughs> That's it. I don't have a specific name because I um, I remember the first time I watched uh, just a YouTube uh, telling about the Victor, uh, drawing Victors and, and lines. And once you get the lines, uh, um uh, you can find uh, tutorials for drawing everywhere and basically just youtube i didn't pay anything i didn't sign up anything i just uh, youtube did and that's beginner really? tutorial YouTube, youtube is the best friend of all <laughs> <laughs> yes. okay. and uh, basically it's li like try yourself that's it yeah you have to build it yourself yeah. great so what is the best reference to be a great illustrator? You have any in your mind that... Uh, you mean my uh, favorite illustrator? Yeah, your favorite illustrator or we got a question that best reference to be a great illustrator? Uh, best reference to be an illustrator. Uh, can you say it in a, another form? Uh, illustrator you want to follow, you like, Ah, um, there's an illustrator uh, on the Instagram. On Instagram, his name is Gio Esposite. It's my all-time favorite. His name is Giovanni Esposite. So I'm if gonna you want, you can share his link also. Have you shared it? Yes, I I shared it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone has also said it. No, it is yes. It's really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you, Neha. Neha, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Neha. Yeah, I like this one. The first question. Which one? Wait. The first one. If in some times you lost energy or will to create or will to create an artwork, how you recharge or revive your passion? This happens all all the time. Uh, I have like a period where I don't do anything. I just I can't. I start and I just I can't. I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, but some sometimes I I think once in a month, once in a month I once in the month I uh, I do I do like four or five illustrations the same day. I don't know. It's like crazy, but it's it's always like that. You can't have the will all the time to do everything. Uh, yeah, exactly. Everyone wants a break. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I just say sometimes I have like, why, <laughs> why am I doing this? I'm just so tired. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm, and the next day I'm like, I have something in mind. Maybe let's try it. And then I do it. And sometimes you know, uh, once I. Uh, uh, I stayed away from drawing for like two months and then when I started it was like really heavy but then I said it's let's do it step by step I'm just gonna like do the line work today and maybe do some coloring tomorrow and this is how <laughs> I came back to the, mm -hmm. to the business <laughs> yeah. great I just loved your answer it was so not made up it was so real it was so genuine it was just so yeah realistic <laughs> thank Great. you so guys it brings us to the end of our art jury session hearty hearty congratulations to our, all the winners and thank you so much Shaza, for thank being you so part, much. for being the part of the main edition of wtf 20. we thank have already so shared the instagram link of yours in our chat section just follow her guys just follow her, get inspired, keep on drawing. And to watch this session and the entire session of WTF, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
click on the bell icon and don't never miss an update from design hell so next event is from ben treat it's a, it's an ama the link will be shared right now with you all and yeah register and keep learning Thank mm -hmm. you.